In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear control arm bushing on your Nissan Ultima. The process for the right side is the same as the left. Remove your five 21 millimeter lug nuts. Remove the wheel using an 18 millimeter wrench to hold the bolt and using an 18 millimeter socket we're going to pull the nut off of the bolt for the ball joint. Remove the cotter pin out of the axle. Using a 32 millimeter socket we're going to remove the axle nut. Make sure your axle pushes in, moves freely. We're gonna remove the ball joint out of the knuckle. I'm gonna be using a hook. You could also just use this pry bar and pry down on it. This just makes it a bit easier. Pull the knuckle out of the way so the stud does not go back in. Using a 21 millimeter wrench and a 21 millimeter socket, we're gonna undo the bolt from the nut and remove it from the rear control arm bushing. <laughs> remove the bolt. The nut for the front control arm bushing on top is a 21 millimeter and the bolt head on bottom is also a 21 millimeter. I'm using a wrench and a socket. We're gonna undo the bolt. We're gonna remove the control arm and use a pry bar to just help me. For the control arm set up in a press, we're gonna press out the rear control arm bushing. With the new bushing set up in the control arm, we're going to press it in. And then it's ready to go to the car. We're going to install the front bushing first. Using a wrench, I'm prying on the head of the bolt to line up the bushing. I'm going to smack the bottom of the hammer. Put the nut on hand tight. I'm going to use a small pick to help me align the rear bushing. Enough to get the bolt started. Once I have it mostly in, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a wrench. You may need to pull on it a little bit. Once you do, have it in place. Just give it a few whacks. Install the nut. We're going to tighten down the 21 millimeter nuts and bolts. I'm going to leave my wrench on there, grab my torque wrench, torque the front control arm bolt to 114 foot-pounds, torque the rear bolt to 114 foot-pounds. Pull down on the control arm, make sure your axle splines are lined up. It's 
install the ball joint bolt. You may need to tap it with a hammer. Install the nut. Using an 18 millimeter socket and wrench, hold the head of the bolt, just tighten it down. Torque the ball joint nut to 46 foot pounds. Install the axle nut onto the axle. Using a pry bar, we're gonna hold the studs of the hub and torque our axle nut to 92 foot pounds. Install the cotter pin, and we're going to bend it over. Install the wheel. Snug down the lug nuts, put the vehicle on the ground. I'm going to torque the wheels to 100 foot pounds. Moving in a star pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.